Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Sinister Skater. Welcome to the channel. We're going to be going over today's update, which was update 1.13 in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. We're going to be going over the new weapon, the crossbow, which was just added to the game. You're going to be seeing some gameplay of it at the beginning of this video. The gameplay is from bots because you have to do a pretty lengthy challenge to unlock the crossbow. But I just want to give you a look at what the crossbow looks like. There's tons of attachments for it. We'll go over all that later. I'll also be going over the new playlist and some changes they made to some of the maps, uh, weapon buffs, and then bug fixes at the very end in that order. So to start off with, this update actually was pretty big on all platforms. If you guys have slow internet, I highly recommend you start it as soon as possible. Uh, it's a 50 gigabyte update on PC. On Xbox One, it's an 18 gigabyte update. Plus you have to download a nine gigabyte multiplayer pack two, which I think is prepping for season two that's coming in a couple weeks. And then on PlayStation 4, it's 13 gigabytes, but you have to download a 12 gigabyte spec ops pack and I believe the multiplayer pack two as well. So lots of stuff to download, get to download if you haven't started. But while most of you are probably here, the crossbow, it's been added into the game. It is considered a marksman rifle. It's in the marksman rifle category and it is free to unlock for everyone. The unlock challenge is you have to get five kills in 25 different matches using a marksman rifle with a reflex optic and this challenge is just a standalone challenge it's not a mission challenge that you find in the barracks you don't have to equip anything to do it. you can just do it whenever you want and it'll count your progress in the create a class menu itself you can also unlock the crossbow if you want to spend some money in the store. There's a new Arctic Beast bundle that will cost you 1,200 Call of Duty points, and that will give you a crossbow weapon blueprint. And then, of course, you can use that weapon blueprint in any of the classes you want. Um, I am planning on doing a more in-depth video, kind of going over some best class setups and best practices with the weapon, with some actual gameplay here in the next week. But just off my first impressions, there's a lot of attachments. I'll kind of scroll through some on the screen. Surprisingly, they have different bolt attachments. So there's a thermite bolt, there's a nova gas bolt, or whatever, a tear gas bolt, and there's an explosive bolt. The one disappointing thing I've noticed with this crossbow and my little use I've had with it is that it isn't a one-shot kill all the time it looks like if you're hitting in the legs or lower it will give you a hit marker and you have to follow up with another crossbow but it will one shot and the chest up we'll have to see if this is reminiscent of the world war ii crossbow which i was not a fan of at all when i actually get my hands on this weapon and start leveling it up and unlocking different attachments and stuff there's actually one i think a bolt attachment or some type of attachment that increases the damage on the crossbow so maybe if you have that attachment on it will just one shot all over again more stuff we'll have to investigate and i'll have a whole nother video going over everything that i learned about the crossbow here shortly but let's move on to the rest of the stuff in this update the other big thing i think it's even more exciting than the crossbow is that they added five new class loadouts to the game for everyone for free i was actually really worried they might try to throw this in like a battle pass or throw it in like some call of duty point thing that you can upgrade but they gave us all five more classes for free so everyone has a total of 10 loadouts that they can customize and make and i think that is much needed and will make everyone happy especially in addition to the custom mods that you can make with weapon blueprints and things like that as for playlists, this week they added Capture the Flag into the game that replaced that drop zone like hybrid playlist we had last week. Shoot the Ship returns in place of Shoot House 24-7 and Gunfight 3s are here to stay for a another week. They also brought Ania Palace back into map rotation and they removed Kravnik Farm from the Ground War map rotation to work on some bugs and exploits. As for weapon tuning and all that good stuff, the trophy system got a buff. They increased its protection radius and also decreased the explosive radius and the damage dealt from trophy system explosions, meaning you won't get murdered by your own trophy system if you throw down like a hard point right next to you. The M4A1 got a buff i guess you could call it they adjusted the aim down sight position on that specific weapon blueprint so that it blocks less of the line of sight which should make it easier to use the ram 7 got its extended mags increased from 45 to 50 rounds the mark 2 carbine had its bullet penetration increased and last but not least i think this is the most exciting buff out of them all the scar fn 17 has less horizontal recoil on initial bullets now which should make that uh, gun a little bit 
bit more easy to handle and that was actually one of the big downfalls of the weapon that i went over in best of worst was its recoil was very aggressive kind of unpredictable so hopefully this will rein that in i'll have to test this weapon out with this new change moving into bug fixes and quality of life updates they adjusted the damage threshold for the get x kills while injured challenge to make it easier to obtain this was a camo challenge for a lot of the melee weapons in the game before you would only get progress on this challenge if you got a kill while your screen was bloody red and you were literally like one finger tap away from dying now hopefully it will count any kill that you get with any type of damage dealt to you and make it a lot easier because that challenge was actually really really hard and was annoying to do i had to go into like hardcore shipment and throw a thermite and then make sure that that thermite does two ticks of damage because that's enough damage to be almost dead in hardcore and then when you're hardcore your health doesn't regenerate so it was just really complicated to get that done so i'm glad to see that they're actually adjusting this because it was a really hard challenge to do uh, another big thing in this update is they removed a quote-unquote bug that uh, was player collision that is no longer in the game you'll no longer run into e teammates you'll just run right through them which i believe is how it's been in previous call of duties in the first place which is kind of annoying especially at the beginning of games in this game so it's good to see that's gone there are a couple reward bugs where the rewards are being given when they shouldn't be or they were given the wrong rewards those have been fixed they fixed the issue where the playlist filter wouldn't switch between modes even when you had multiple of them selected or whenever you went into a mosh pit so that's good to see uh you can no longer please care packages on shipment spawn points that was a bug apparently and they put in a fix for some officer progression emblems not displaying the correct rarity i.e the season one rank 10 emblem being a common emblem now it is properly a legendary emblem but it's still not animated which is kind of disappointing we'll see if that uh becomes animated i guess when season two goes live in a couple of weeks if they didn't fix it this go around and then there were a ton of actual bug fixes and exploit patches and just like very specific random occurrences that are happening in the game if you want to read all of those specific changes either they probably haven't affected you but if you want to read them link will be in the description where you can go to the bottom and check out the actual patch notes themselves but uh, i think that's it for update 1.13 Crossbow gameplay will be coming shortly. It will probably be next week. I have some content planned over the next couple of days here, and it'll probably take me next couple of days to get the crossbow unlocked and then actually level it up. So subscribe if you're interested in hearing more about that and not just seeing some half-assed commentary about it when someone went into the store and bought the Arctic thing and hasn't even leveled it up or got some real experience with it. We do real stuff on this channel, not no fake, like... You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, uh, that'll be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button again, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. Check links down below in the description for 10% off control freaks as well as cool in apparel. You also have my Amazon and socials link down there if you want to shop through that link and help support my channel that way. But again, thanks for watching guys. My name's Sinner Skater. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.